Okay, so the FMGC on board the aircraft took me all the way to Buram and then I turned in for arrival. Um, I just finished my uh, arrival procedure at MIQ and instead of turning to 81 degrees for uh, runway 26 right, I'm gonna take runway 08 left because of the change in wind. Right now I'm approaching 10,000 feet and I'm almost there and I wanna continue going down. 5,000 and um, we've we've stopped the FMDC from controlling the aircraft due to the change now it's all uh, manually setting it so we're holding speed 235 knots heading 261 that is parallel to this runway and yep we're going there so when we get to about 8,000 feet I'm gonna start to turn south Another change was that I had to change the ILS frequency from 110.708.70 one, one for runway 26 right to 110.30 for runway 08 left. I've done that in the CDU. As you can see, 110.30. Now to activate ILS mode, you're gonna have to click on the ILS knob here. Um, you should be able to see some new stuff on your uh, nav display. I'm gonna change this to ILS mode. Okay. Okay. Right. So that's gonna the cross is gonna point towards the ILS. Now we're going in the other direction, of course. Okay. Right, and I'm gonna use some speed brakes to um, speed up our descent. Okay, so, uh, yep, just gonna keep descending, looking at the weather here, it's 2983, yeah, the visibility is like really little, so we'll be using a complete uh, ILS category 3 auto land. Okay, yep, we're gonna turn south now, so just go here and change your heading to 180. Clockwise direction. There we go. Okay, now take a look at your fuel. Oh, um, yep, I have plenty of fuel remaining. Shut down the center pumps. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, there we go. You can see land again. I guess the weather is improved. Nope, the visibility is still 2,100 meters. Which is clear. Okay. So about intercepting the ILS.
as soon as this thing gets inside um, in all four, I'm just gonna line the aircraft up as much as I can and then intercept the localizer. So to get that done, I need this in the center. So this is not gonna be point straight as I'm not flying towards the runway. As soon as the um, course deviation indicator gets into the center, I'm gonna intercept the ILS. Should have taken the elevation first. Okay, um, we're currently at 3,500 feet, and that's about. Let's zoom in here. Uh, 1,900 feet um, above ground level. It is kind of low, but then um, we're fine as as long as we. Before you start your flight, make sure you uh, take a look at the elevation of your uh, destination so you can plan out your descent. You need to be about 3,000 feet above ground level to intercept the local uh, intercept the glide slope at 10 miles out. Uh, looking, uh, seeing that I'm I'm quite low, I'll be intercepting the glide slope a bit later. The find out I may intercept the glide slope when the glide slope dot gets to center. Okay. Now looking at the nav display, it's coming close to the center, and let's intercept the localizer now. The aircraft should turn into the localizer. Turning in front of the center. And I'll also be switching speed to managed mode so that the, uh, remember we put in managed automatic for approach, so so to get the aircraft to automatically calculate our speeds, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Center. Seem good. And speed is auto mode. Okay, we're, we've just intercepted the glide slope, making the final descent. We're also slowing down for the landing. Uh, if you wanna know how that's going, you could go to flight management. If you see what just start, just the target speed calculated. Uh, we can approach at that and touch down at about 20 knots slower than that. Sit back and relax. The aircraft should, uh, should yeah, we're using auto land right now, so uh, you don't really have to even flare. You just have to wait for the aircraft to land on its own. Okay, at a thousand feet, uh, what the, uh, the aircraft does is it pitches down a little, so. Uh, when you flare, you'll reach just a little after the touchdown, uh, after the threshold, so in the touchdown zone. As you can see from the glide slope indicator, you are going a little low. It's supposed to do that, so you don't have to worry. Okay, I'm not gonna turn off the autopilot, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is right now. Glide slope, 
wide slope. At a hundred feet, it's gonna wide flare slope. automatically. Wide slope. In a mountains. In a mountains. Wide slope. Wide slope. One hundred. Wide slope. And wide at fifty, slope. the final flare. Fifty. Wide slope. Wide slope. Go. Forty. Wide slope. Wide slope. Thirty. Retard. 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 I'll be putting in, I'll be creating a new series with, um, which shows the features of this aircraft, like I'll be explaining how the fly-by-wire works, um, a bit more detail on the Autoland, um, the FMGC, most of the MCDU we've gone through in the um, pre-flight planning, so, okay, yeah, stay tuned for more videos from Flight Gear Airbus, thank you for watching.